protein skimming while cycling your marine aquarium, your saltwater aquarium, your reef tank aquarium, however you want to say it. But today we're going to be discussing protein skimming while cycling your marine aquarium. I'm sure there's tons of debates out there of what you should or should not do. A lot of these things that I hear people say, I personally take it with a grain of salt. There is no scientific proof out there what one is better than the other. I did a video of lighting a marine aquarium while cycling your aquarium. Okay? Great topic, a lot of great answers, a lot of great opinions. Okay? But before we get into this, I must say, I would appreciate if you guys stop right now, put it on pause, go up, scroll up, you're on your phone, whatever you got to do. I want to see 500 thumbs up on these videos. I'm working really hard to get these videos out. You guys want my personal opinion on a lot of this stuff. And I would just love to see just a little bit more appreciation. And I know we tend to forget, we get caught up in some of these videos. I forget to give the creators that recognition for getting content out to you. So please make sure you guys get over there and do that. And also with that being said, if I do hit it, these, you know, 500 thumbs up on this video or this particular video or my future videos as well. Um, I would like to do a par reading for you guys on the settings that I have for this tank. Okay, so a lot of you guys are asking me, um, things about this, the par, uh, how deep, how far the lights, can't tell because of the video. The tank is 27 inches deep. The lights are 24 inches off the water surface. So if you guys would like to see more of this kind of stuff, leave it in the comments. Also show your appreciation of the hard work that us creators are putting out by hitting that thumbs up. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, guys, um, protein skimming an aquarium while cycling your aquarium. Um, I think it's a topic that um, everybody's going to have a tons of opinions to. That's what we want. We want the opinions of other people. There's a lot of new people coming into the hobby, and they're going to still say, hey, I'm confused on what I should do. Here's what you should do if you're new. Take videos like this that are going to open up doors, meaning open up all kinds of opinions on, on these topics and subjects, and you read through them. You finalize. You are control of your system. There is no right and wrong, at least not yet. There's no scientific proof or anything, at least not yet. But it gives you the opportunity to be able to look at, at people's systems, go to their channel, see what they have, see what they did, you know, listen to what people are saying, and make your own final decision on it. But this video is my opinion, because you guys wanted me to give my opinion on some of these topics at hand, and I will continue to do that. Um, because that's what you guys want. Um, but please make sure those thumbs are up. So, a couple different things I want to say. First off, protein skimming for me during a cycle. Yes. I'm going to just say it. Yes for me from the very beginning. Reasons why I'm saying yes. I'm going to give you several different scenarios over this video. First off, does, do you even know what a protein skimmer is actually doing for your aquarium? What is the purpose of a protein skimmer? Okay, so the purpose of a protein skimmer is to remove the byproducts inside your aquarium before the microorganisms can break it down and invertly, you know, keep you from, you know, levels of high phosphate nitrates. Okay, what's going to happen? You know, 
it's getting it out before it has the chance to break down and turn into nitrates and phosphates. Mm -hmm. That's what it does. But there's also two other things that it actually does. Anybody would like to take a guess? I'll give you guys a second to really think about this. Or how about, let me put it like this. Um, what does it do better than your return pumps and your power heads can do for your system? I'll give you another hint. We got surface agitation here. Okay, so I'm gonna just tell you, gas exchange. It will do better than what your power heads or your return pump is going to do for you. If you don't believe me, look at your protein skimmer when it's on. What do you see? What do you see in your aquarium? You see surface agitation, but what do you see? Looking at your protein skimmer, what do you see? And outside of the gas exchange, what else is it doing for you? You want to take a guess? That's right better pH, O2 in your water. Better, better, better for your water, okay? Better pH for your system. Protein skimmer, I feel, is going to help stabilize your system even faster by doing some of these essential things. So, I know people are going to say, well, Rico, you use bacteria in a bottle. Why would you ever, ever use a protein skimmer? You're pulling out everything that your beneficial bacteria needs uh, to grow, to feed on, blase, blase. You're right. There's some things that are being pulled out. Is everything being pulled out? No. Um, but I'm also feeding my bacteria. I'm feeding ammonia chloride. Second of all, when I started this system, no, I did not have the protein skimmer on uh, immediately. I laid it, I lit it, I poured it in and had the ammonia, put the ammonia in, give it a food source, and I let it sit for about 48, 72 hours before I turned on the protein skimmer. Why? Just to give the beneficial, my thought, the bacteria time to settle on all surfaces, to grab hold, to do what it needs to do. That's just my thought. If I pour it in and it went right over to the overflow, right into a protein skimmer, I don't know what it would actually do. Some of it would come out with a wall get skimmed out. I don't know. But I got to think logically here and, and do my best at this hobby with the tools that are given to me. My eyes, visually seeing, my brain to really think about the aquarium in a different light. How do I get what I need out of this aquarium? I'm trying to play essential mother nature here, right? If you started off with all live rock, immediately turn the protein skimmer on, okay? If you're doing both, live and dry, turn the protein skimmer on, and if you're doing it from the bottle, or, uh, you know, um, dosing it, just give it a couple days, let it all settle down in the aquarium on all the surfaces, sand, rock, whatever you're using, and then uh, add it to the, uh, turn on the protein skimmer. If you're using uh, food, go ahead and start that as well. Okay. We're, we're, we are essentially... Um, are just trying to feed bacteria, but we also want to make sure that we have good gas exchange and also uh, a good pH in the aquarium. And all these things are combined to helping stabilize, I feel, the system. These are essential things, okay? Now, I'm just giving you my opinion, and I know myself and everybody else in the reefing community want to hear yours as well okay we want to hear it we want to hear what you guys have to say everybody does and i think it's good i think it's good to hear other people's thoughts and process now with that being said oh you're going to feel all the bad stuff 
You're going to feel all the bad stuff. Why does, why does hair algae have to be bad? I don't understand that neither. It's only bad when you, as an individual, let it get that bad. Let it get to that stage where it truly becomes overwhelming to you. Okay, but if you're the one that is manually dosing the food, you don't need a jumbo size shrimp in your aquarium to create a cycle. You need small little particulates of food, just something enough just to feed on and grab a hold of and do its thing to colonize your aquarium. Okay? There's different types of bacteria. doesn't matter what you want to use. Um, at the end of the day, you have Dr. Thames, you have Pilot Lab, you have Seacam, you have Reef uh, Brightwells. Um, you also have, um, I don't know, uh, oh, Fritz. You have all kinds of products in a box. You know, you don't have to use it if you don't want to. You can use food. You can use whatever. Now, the only difference between the food and bacteria in the bottle, I feel, the food, you know, uh, fresh fish, whatever, I think it, it's a little different. I think it can create a little bit of um, something else and can cause a little bit of a problem. But I think that's based on how much you put in there, okay? Beneficial bacteria in a bottle, I don't think you're able to actually overdose it. Um, what I do believe is that if you don't give it enough food source, that it can die back in your aquarium. Therefore, causing the bacteria to basically camelize itself, meaning eating its sisters, brothers, and cousins, and whatever else um, you know that has died off to actually feed the population, to keep the population stable. Or you can manually dose and keep enough food, but watch what you're doing when it comes to adding food is the key. Now, diet times and some of these things are not a bad thing. These are things that are going to give other things a food source. Okay, protein skimming while cycling is just a way to help, I feel, balance the system out. Okay. It's like, let me put it like this. It's like you shut off all the power, you shut off your protein skimmer for a half hour, you shut down your feed pumps or whatever, maybe 10 minutes. You spot feed the whole aquarium, all your corals. They feed, they're happy, boom, everything comes on, whatever's left skims out, okay? But they're fed, they're fed. You do that a couple times a week, you feed your corals once or twice a week, they're good to go. Bacteria, same way. What makes the bacteria any different as far as I'm concerned? Now, what I'm saying here, there is no holy grail of right and wrong. You guys asked for my opinion, and I'm willing to share it with you. And I would love to do all kinds of these topics if you guys want them. Um, don't be afraid to say no. I don't want to hear no more about them. There's a comment section for that as well. I'm just stating how my brain works, how I look at things, and give you my point of view. Now, it's really truly up to you, however you choose or whatever comfortable, uh, how comfortable you are with either decision you want to make. Either you want to run the protein skimmer uh, the whole cycle or you don't. At the end of the day, just remember you're feeding the aquarium, you're feeding the tank. If it makes you feel better to shut the protein skimmer off, as you're going to feed um, your aquarium or ghost feed it, do so. Just remember, as if you're feeding pellets, fish food, flake food, whatever, um, some of that stuff is going to get broken down no matter what. A protein skimmer is not 199.999% effective, okay? It's really not. A refugium will probably be more effective than a protein skimmer. The difference is a protein skimmer has more than one job that makes it better as far as I'm concerned gas exchange and pH being those two outside of removing um, uh, stuff out of the water uh, before it can get broken down into high levels of nitrates and phosphates. 
So what do you guys think? What are your guys' personal opinion? Hopefully, real quick, if you guys haven't noticed, the tank is right now under whites for your guys' uh, viewing pleasure. I wanted to leave the white lights, uh, white lights on during this video because I don't think you've actually seen this aquarium under white lights. What do you guys think? I think it's sexy. I love the actual shimmer uh, of this aquarium at the, the, the height of these lights on the aquarium. What do you guys think? It might be a little bit darker over here. Of course, I have to get two more uh, radions over here uh, on the system, but uh, I'm truly digging it. What do you guys think? I, I think it's awesome, personally. I really do. I really, 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 really do. So, with that being guys, uh, being said, guys and girls, um, or ladies, or women, I don't want to get beat up now, sorry, um, leave me a comment down below. What do you guys think? What are your guys' personal opinions on it? If you guys want me to indulge more on this at a later date, I would love to do a live stream and get into the, you know, talkings of this particular subject here, the protein skimmer. So, hope to see you guys on the next one. Once again, real quick, hit that thumbs up, guys. I want to see 500, and i catch you guys on the next one. Are you listening? Damn.